So when Lakhtara al-Sadr calls for the end of sectarian government, what he means actually is uh, getting rid of uh, quotas in the Iraqi cabinet that were handed out to the Kurds, who are 20% of the population. They got one of the uh, four major ministries and uh, you know some 15% of the cabinet positions and cabinet positions handed out to the Sunnis, who also got one of the uh, four major ministries and, and some others. Uh, he, 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 he's saying he wants an honest and technocratic government, but in reality, what he wants is a Shiite uh, government. Uh, so he's simply in conflict with the Prime Minister uh, al-Abadi uh, over which of the Shiite leaders is going to be running Iraq, but it, certainly there's nothing uh, that is uh, against uh, sectarianism there. The reality is that Iraq is dissolving. It's been dissolving, well, it's been dissolving since 1991, since Saddam's invasion of Kuwait. Uh, but this, it's a process that has accelerated. Uh, the, the Kurdistan, uh, the part of the country that's in the north, uh, already functions in almost all regards as an independent state. And they've announced they're going to have a referendum later this year on independence, and the vote for independence will be nearly unanimous. And I think, by and large, most of the world at this date accepts uh, that Kurdistan independence will come. And while there may be some initial hesitation in recognizing it will be recognized. The, the, the Sunni areas, at least at the moment, the Islamic State have already declared themselves independent of Iraq. Now, nobody's going to recognize that. Uh, much of the Sunni population doesn't like the Islamic State, but they uh, have equal distaste for the government in Iraq, which in Baghdad, which they don't feel is theirs. And then in Baghdad, as you see among the Shiites, there's a, a struggle for power. Uh, none of it is about uh, building a, a unified Iraq. So this really is a country that is in dissolution. Peter Galbraith, when we recently discussed uh, the crisis uh, in Baghdad in the France 24 debate, our panel was unanimous, saying that what they've learned over the past years uh, since 2003 is that uh, trying to have the sort of uh, meeting out of portfolios the way you've just described it, much in the way it's done in Lebanon, uh, it just doesn't work. So uh, at this point in time, if you want to retake Fallujah and make it everybody's victory, how do you do it? Look, the, the, the meeting out of portfolios is a reflection of the democratic process. I mean, Iraq has a parliamentary system and in a parliamentary Elementary system, you form coalitions. I mean, this should be very, very familiar to uh, all your all the uh, European uh, viewers. Uh, and so you. But you coalitions ignore. based on sectarian lines means that those well, people are not, are less accountable. Well, they're they're based on the results of democratic elections. That the reality is that the Kurds have voted for Kurdish nationalist parties because they unanimously don't want to be part of Iraq. Uh, and yet, in order to form a government in Baghdad, you need to have a the Kurdish parties to be part of it. So they become part of the coalition. As they're part of the coalition, they they naturally want a share of the power. That's the that's true of the Sunnis. Now, perhaps the Sunni elected officials really don't represent anybody at this stage uh, because their constituencies have been overrun by the Islamic State. But the idea is to include them, to have an inclusive government. And you, you can't just appoint technocrats and say, well, you now represent the Sunnis or the Kurds. You need to have people who are authentic representatives of those communities, and those are politicians. I mean, that's what politics is about. Uh, and, uh, you know, al Abadi himself, he's no technocrat. He is a politician. So his argument is, well, we, I, I should be the, pre, uh, the prime minister, which is by far the most powerful position in Iraq, and everybody else should be a technocrat, meaning they all should be loyal to me and, and affect a one-man dictatorship, of which Iraq has had some very bad experience. Uh, you know, power sharing and democracy are messy, but it does mean that when people win elections and whether you like these parties or not, these are the parties that won the elections, that they participate in power sharing. And, and, and what's being argued for now by your panel of experts and by many people who, in my view, don't really understand the country is, well, let's get rid of the results of democratic elections because they're inconvenient. There were nationalist parties, there were Sunni parties, there were Shiite religious parties. And let's substitute a basically a prime ministerial dictatorship with technocrats. That's not going to work, uh, and it's not democratic. 